during the Jeep Start Something New sales event, well-qualified returning Grand Cherokee lessees get a low-mileage lease on select 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo E 4x4 models for $199 a month for 24 months for $3,179 to its signing tax title license extra. Call 1-888-925-JEEP for details. Requires due to contribution lease to Chrysler Capital. Currently spliced in by 2-1-2021 on oldest 20% inventory of 2020 Grand Cherokee models and dealer stock for longest as of 1-3-2020. Extra charge for miles over 20,000 residency restrictions apply. Take delivery by 2-3-2020. Jeep is a registered trademark. This is episode 1,695 of the number one podcast and Apple podcast for job search. No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Off in the Big Game Hunter, and welcome back for another show on Wednesday. Today's show talks about what's one thing that you can be doing to be more effective in your job search. What's that one thing that you can do? Hope you find this helpful. Hope you give it a great review wherever you listen to the show because it really does help other people find it. Share it, by the way. Share it on LinkedIn. Share it on Facebook or Twitter. Wherever you're active, just share it with other people because it does help them as well. And with that, let's get going. I wanted to do a video about what I know is the one thing that most job hunters really have trouble doing. Now, I want to give you credit, first of all. You're watching this video. You're listening to podcasts. You're doing stuff to try and figure it out. That is great. That puts you ahead of 25. Well, actually, you're in the top 25% of job hunters by doing that. Really? Because most people try to figure it out through trial and error. They don't try to learn. So, at a girl, at a boy, good job. But there's one thing that I think is really most effective to help a job search, and very few people do it. And what that is, is ask for help. Now, if that's a tough word for you, let's substitute the word support. It doesn't mean calling people up and saying, do you know a job for me? It doesn't mean help, I'm begging you, please. No, it doesn't mean that at all. What it means is asking for advice, asking for stories, asking for input. For example, you're a recent grad, and how many t- people have you called up who graduated a year or two before you and asked how they found their jobs. Some of the stories may get repetitive. Oh, I went to um, a mixer, I went to a this or a that. Okay, and if you're doing that, you've affirmed that this is a good strategy. But you're also gonna hear some different stories. And it doesn't take a lot of time to ask for that sort of support. If you're a more experienced person, you may have had a mentor along the way. You may have a colleague with another organization. And, you know, the idea becomes you can call them or schedule time for coffee or lunch and simply say, I want to talk to you for a little bit because I feel like I'm in an impasse. I'm looking for some advice about what I should be doing next. And that doesn't, did you hear the word job in there? You didn't say, I'm looking for a job. What I should be doing next. How did you find your role? What's, you know, what prompted you to step into this situation? You know a little bit about me. Where do you see me a few years from now? It's kind of like doing a 360 uh, with someone who knows you and looking for input. Most of us spend a lot of our life trying to figure things out on our, on our own. And we don't have a lot of time and then wonder why we wake up years later in the same position we were in before. We put ourselves in the position of being stuck. Asking for advice or asking for coaching or hiring a coach moves you out of the realm of being fixed in a situation. You're getting new inputs. It's easier because you're not doing the thinking. Someone else is offering their thoughts. And why does job search have to be hard? Why does it have to be difficult? 
Why does it have to take a long time? Well, in the first two, it's because you're trying to figure it out on your own and you're not an expert at that. In the latter case, why does it take a long time? Well, it's pretty simple. You don't have a lot of time and you have limited inputs to work with. So again, it comes down to you don't have to figure it out. There are people who have been ahead of you in the process who you could ask for advice. And then from there, they start thinking about places that they could introduce you to, people that they know. And you can ask them, you know, thank you. This has been great. Is there someone else I could speak with that you could point me to? I'm not looking for a job. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to beg for a job with them. Like with you, I'm, I'm looking for some advice about how to move forward to my next step. And thus from there, you're engaging in conversations, meeting more people. And since the statistics are 70% of jobs are filled through networking, and of that 70%, 70% of them, or 49%, are filled as a result of introductions to people who your network knows who you don't. You start to extend your universe more broadly. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, there's my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. I have more than 8,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. In addition, if you're interested in my coaching you, at the site, there's a button there that says Schedule. Schedule time for a free discovery call. Schedule yourself in for coaching, interview preparation coaching, salary negotiation advice, how to have your questions answered or coaching related to hiring more effectively, managing and leading, helping you be a better executive in your organization, and overall being a better employee of your firm. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you watch or listen to my content. I like knowing I'm helping folks. Once we're connected, if you're interested in coaching, let me know. I think it's easier at the website, but if that's the way you want to do it, so be it. <laughs> Lastly, join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's focused on helping you do better at work. Information there is shared daily, and I'm attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in, so I want to make it a safe place for everyone. I'll be back tomorrow with more and in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great! In life, we come to expect certain things. Light bulbs light and tigers roar. But what if we came to expect something more? At Honda, that's just what we do. And it's led us to the Honda Accord LX. With more standard torque and passenger volume than a Toyota Camry. Hurry in to your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Accord today to see what expecting more gets you. Based on comparably equipped models. Car category names like sports car or subcompact sound so one dimensional, and great cars just aren't, like the Honda Civic. So I named a new category. Spay flu. That's sp for sporty, thanks to an available turbocharged engine. The eighth is for standard safety and driver assistive features, like Honda Sensing. And the Lou is for value. Test drive the Honda Civic today.